it's never too late to get in shape, and we're going to introduce you to someone who is proof of that. We're talking about taking control of the aging process on your body with personal trainer Dave Parisi and his client of 20 years. This is 78-year-old Charlotte Pearl Ross. 75. 75? 75. You yeah. told me she was 78. You're trying to get me in trouble, Dave I thought Parisi. she was 43. I was mistaken as well. So we should both. just say you're 93. People will be okay, even more yeah, that That's fine. Impressed. You work yeah. out three times a week. Yes. And you say you're in better physical shape than you were when you were in your 50s. Absolutely. And do you feel like you can do all of these exercises? You're normal yes. enough to do that? No, I don't have problems. Now, but let's talk about, so, I mean, when we talk about the aging on our bodies, mm -hmm. it really starts in your mid-20s. Right, you know, 70% clinical research, uh, Journal of the American Medical Association, 70% of all aches and pains and muscular strains are basically done by choice. It's the choice not to exercise. So obviously, as we age, we lose muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. Okay, people always blame their metabolism. I'm gaining weight because my metabolism is slowing down, or I'm losing muscle tissue, I'm losing bone density. That's totally reversible just by adding, incorporating exercise. So what are some of the exercises that you recommend for Charlotte and people maybe who okay. are in that same age group? We're gonna show too, there's, there's many exercises. All exercises for the elderly are based on their present physical condition and what they can handle. Um, Charlotte is well more advanced than the average. Um, she's doing exercises that you know, 50, 55 year old. Well, you've been doing this women. for how long now? For uh, about 20 years. About 20 a little years, bit okay. more. 20 years. Yeah. So I'm going to take Charlotte into a plank, into a squat pole. Okay, show us. Okay, okay Charlotte, we're going to come right down here. We're going to get right on your knees. We're going to go into the plank first. We're going to karate chop. Okay, right into the plank. Your feet are straight out. Okay. And this is a, gra hips down, a great hips down, hips ab down, right workout there. for anyone, right? Yeah, and we're going to hold this. Now, Charlotte also incorporates leg lifts and things, but this is a great core to stimulate the abdomen muscle, the low back muscle. Um, basically all the core muscles that are responsible for balance and stability. And that's a key factor in the elderly is, is working on your balance and stability. Okay, drop your knees for me, Charlotte. We're going to come on up and we're going to go right into the squat pole. Okay, here we go. Now with any of these exercises, do you, you don't recommend anyone over a certain age shouldn't do these unsupervised, right? I would n not have anyone do any exercises unsupervised unless you know exactly you're doing it correctly. And that's really the key factor. So. No, I actually no. I would have make sure that you're doing it properly first before you really start an exercise program. Come on down to a squat and pull straight in. Good. Okay, come on up. Okay. Squat first, then pull. There you go. And we pull on the way up. Squat first. Remember? And we're gonna pull on the way up. Pull on the way up. There now we go. What's, what's this working? Slow. Squat and pull everything. Everything core. She's doing her squat. So she's working all muscles in the ankle, the knee, and the hip complex, mm -hmm. okay? And she's working her back muscles, her bicep muscles, anything that retracts and draws back the shoulder blades, core, balance, and stability. Remember, Sony, she's not fixed to a machine at a gym or health club. Mm -hmm. So everything responsible for balance, stability, is kicking in and firing. She's working the entire body rather than being fixed in a machine. And Charlotte, what was some of the differences that you noticed when you really started getting into working out? More energy, maybe? Feeling better. Just feeling better <laughs> overall. Yes. Yeah. One more exercise or no? One more exercise. Okay. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she doesn't look sure. <laughs> We're going to do a step up. Okay. Okay. With the medicine ball. Okay. All right. All right, child. We're going to take a couple steps down. All right. One foot straight up on the step. Dead center. Can you face this way? Face me this okay. way. Okay. Sure. Center. Dead center. One foot. We're going to hold the medicine ball. Okay. You're going to step opposite foot right up on the step. You're going to press the medicine ball out as you go up. Come on up. Step up. Come on down. Good, pull it in. Exhale, good, inhale. Oh, look at Charlotte's incorporating hip flexion well advanced. I didn't even ask her to do that. There you go, excellent job. Good, so now she's working everything. So now, uh, obviously, stepping and stair climbing is very important as well. Well, Charlotte, I have to say I'm impressed. That's more working out than I've done probably in the past <laughs> two weeks. Uh, but we're gonna have more information on our website. Sure, you can sure. check it out at WTNH.com, Dave Parisi. And working out as you age, Charlotte, Dave, thanks so much for coming by, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Good to see you again. We'll be back right after this here on News Channel 8 at noon.